All right, got this video here of a new IFB cultist openly saying he wants a, basically essentially a Catholic style theocracy. He doesn't use that wording of Catholic, but he's essentially preaching the same thing. And he's denying the scriptural fact of, of church state separation and uh, liberty of conscience. Why? Because the new IFB, they have very, you know, one of the, one of the main distinctives, I, I'm not a Baptist. I don't identify as a Baptist, but one of the main distinctive, distinctive of Baptists that separated them from all the Protestants and Roman Catholics is that the Baptists have always stood for the biblical doctrines of liberty of conscience and church state separation. But the new IFB, they're bringing in these Catholic heresies, one of which is wanting a so-called Christian theocracy. And you're not going to believe what this guy says. The guy actually tries to to say the Old Testament nation of Israel is what a Christian nation looks like. I mean, the guy, his name is Roger Jimenez. That's the little buddy of Stephen Anderson out there in uh, Sacramento, California. Uh, he basically tries to say that the nation of Israel is what a Christian nation looks like. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Okay, here's a clip. Just look, watch for yourself. It means that the Bible is our final authority. You have to be able to come to grips with the fact that there are some things that we believe as Americans, that we've been taught as patriots, that are not found in the Bible. And religious liberty is one of them. Have you read the Constitution? Do you know what it guarantees you? Citizens of America, read it, and let's take back our religious freedom. Well, if God established a nation, uh, it'd be just like America. Well, wait a minute. Here's the problem with that. God did establish a nation. It's called the nation of Israel in the Old Testament, the children of Israel in the Old Testament. And it's not hard for us to go back and see if God, if God, theoretically, not a theory, if God established a nation, what would that nation look like? Hey, open the Old Testament. It's easy to see. Yeah, you can't make this stuff up. So apparently the nation of Israel the physical nation of Israel is a is, is a Christian nation, and these guys have openly said, "I've like you can listen to their sermons. They they say that well, Abraham was a Christian. They try to say that John the Baptist was the first Baptist or whatever. Uh, they'll say they'll basically refer to Old Testament prophets as Christians. You know, um, last time I checked, there's nobody in Christ back in the Old Testament. So, the, but there are Christians apparently. Yeah, sure. Again, this is what non dispensationalism causes you to do. But just a quick verse of scripture to kind of refute these people." That who want this this kind of theocracy, this this Catholic-like theocracy. Here's a good verse of scripture that really gets them into a, uh, really kind of contradicts their whole faulty theology. John chapter 18, verse 36. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. That I should be not be delivered that I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from not from hence. Not good at reading on a computer. Uh, notice that then would my servants fight. That I should not be delivered to the Jews. Um, what's he referring back to? John chapter 18, verses 10 to 11. Here's an example of what happens when you want a theocracy, when you want a physical earthly kingdom like Stephen Anderson and his little uh, cult followers do. John chapter 18, verse 10 to 11. Then Simon Peter, having, drew, having a sword, drew it and smote the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Probably not saying that right. Verse 11. Then said, then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword into the into the sheath. The cup which my father hath given me, I sh shall I not drink it. Okay. What's going on there? Peter was wanting to physically fight. When they grabbed Jesus, he pulled out a sword and was physically fighting. That's what happens when you are one of these, these types of kingdom builders, these, these Roman Catholic style kingdom builders. You'll physically fight. Um, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says our, our uh, battle is not with flesh and blood. It's with spiritual powers. But when you're a kingdom builder like the new IFB, then yeah, you guess you are fighting spirit. You are fighting a physical, just like the Muslims do in many ways. Uh, so also I want to show you something from the Catholic Catechism. Let me just pull that up real quick. All right, I have the references in the Catechism right here. Because uh, again, back to the whole thing of wanting a theocracy, what you're essentially trying to bring is the kingdom of God on earth. Uh, so basically in the Catholic Catechism, in paragraphs number 541 and paragraph 567, uh, it says that the church, the Catholic church, basically, is the kingdom of God. You see, Roman Catholics have always been for a theocracy, a, a uh, state-run church. I showed in my video that the Roman Catholic church has always stood against church-state separation. The popes have always stood against that. There's no such thing as a Christian theocracy. That's not, that's not a biblical New Testament uh, doctrine. Now, there is going to be one when Jesus Christ comes back and sets up his millennial kingdom, but that's Jesus Christ who does it, not us doing it ourselves. And, and to compare Old Testament Israel to what a Christian nation is, I mean, that's ridiculous. You know, Christians don't keep the Sabbath. Jews do. 
Uh, it's, it's, you know, I can go on and on about that. It's, it's nuts. But this is the kind of Catholic papal mentality of the new IFB, wanting a theocracy. Just keep showing what spirit they're of. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.